Hello everybody and welcome back to my tutorials on how to make a clicker slash idle game in Unity. Uh, my name is Teeler and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, sounds, sound effects in your game when you're clicking buttons. Uh, or you can have like a, an idle music in the background or something like that. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, but anyways, once you have your uh, Unity open, uh, you just want to have a sound clip or an audio clip of the sound effect that you want to use. So if you don't have one of those already, I'm going to have a link in the description for this website here. And you can just come here and cycle through uh, cycle through the sounds and see what one you want. And uh, just get one from here. So I like this one. So I'm going to make it so every time you click a button, this sound effect happens. So the easiest thing to do is just click the little download thing there. You'll get this pop up. And then you can take that file that you just downloaded and we're going to go and make a folder called sounds in our unity project and you just want to drag that sound file into the, the sounds folder and I'm just going to rename this for organization's sake as uh, click sound so now that we have that all we need to do is make some new components onto these uh, onto our buttons here I'm just gonna get rid of these just <laughs> I was messing around with this beforehand so yeah what we need to do is just uh, we can hold control and then click on all of our buttons within the scene so that would be main button upgrade one two three and auto one upgrade so those are our five buttons that we have and then to scroll down to the bottom here and add component and we're going to add audio source. So that should add an audio source component to all of the buttons that we were highlighting. So now that you have that, uh, you can drag our click sound here over to our audio clip. And so that was for the main button. For upgrade one, you want to do the same thing. Two, same thing. Three, and the idle upgrade. So now that we have that finished, we need to go in our script, game manager script, and we need to reference these button sounds in our script so that uh, we know it knows what to, to what to play and when to play it when we click the button. So what we're going to do is underneath these, we're going to make <clears throat> a few more uh, variables. So we're going to do public audio source. And I'm going to say... Uh, main button sound and then you want to make the same thing for the other buttons as well so I'm going to do upgrade one sound or upgrade one button sound two and three and then the idle upgrade Okay, so we've got our three regular upgrade buttons and our auto upgrade button. So now we have the sounds for them all. So all we need to do now is we need to get these sounds to play in t inside of our functions when we click the buttons themselves. So when we click our main button, it's going to call this function here. So what we need to do is just get it to play the sound as long or as well as actually doing the click itself. So when we click the button, it's going to add our score by clicking out, and then our XP will go up, but we also want it to play that sound. So we're going to do, uh, underneath this, we'll do main button sound dot play. Two brackets, and end quotation, or uh, end, uh, end it with a semicolon. So that's the main button, and then you just pretty much just do the same thing with the upgrade buttons as well. So underneath this, I'm going to do upgrade one, upgrade one button sound dot play, do two brackets and a semicolon, and then just do the same thing for two and three. Just change these.
And then for auto upgrade, same thing. Only you want it to be the same name that we have up here for our auto up upgrade with sound. Auto upgrade one button sound. Auto upgrade one button sound dot play. So that's it for that. You can just hit save. Go back to Unity. And now if we click our game manager, we'll have a few extra things down here that we need to drag over. So these are the sounds for the buttons. So basically, since those audio source components are on the buttons themselves, then we can just drag the buttons over into their slots. So for uh, main button sound here, it'll be main button. Upgrade one button will be upgrade one sound. Two, three, and idle upgrade. So there is a, a more simple way of doing that if you wanted all of the buttons to make the same sound like I am, but the way we're doing it right here is that if you wanted to have each button make a different sound, well then you can just change the sound in the audio source component of that button, and then it would change just that one, and then it will only play that sound <clears throat> when you click that button, right? But uh, Basically, yes, there is a much simpler way of doing it if you want them all to uh, play the same sound, but we're not going to get into that right now. So once we have those dragged over, we should be able to just hit play, and whenever we click these buttons, it should uh, play the sound. Uh, you, you can hear the sound just then, actually. So yeah, so now every time we click the button, any of the buttons, you can, uh, you can hear the sound. And so the reason we heard it as soon as we hit play is because we forgot to uncheck the play on awake. So let's actually just uh, hold control and highlight these buttons again and uncheck play on awake. So now once we start the game, the sound won't play. If you wanted to add a some background music to it, then you could basically just create an empty object here and you can... I don't know, name it BG music for background music. Then you would add a audio source. And then you can leave play on awake. Uh, you can leave that checked. And then just drag some sort of sound or audio um, in here. And then as soon as the game starts, it will play. And then that could be your background music. And then you can just hit loop so that it will continuously keep looping. And you'll always have background music, basically. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't, I don't have a, a track ready for some background music. But um, that was pretty much it. It doesn't take much to add uh, sound effects to your buttons. just want to test it to see if it works on... Uh, Yeah, so it should work on all of the buttons now. Uh, what we can do is we can actually add one more audio source so that once you level up, it'll have a level up sound. So what I'm going to do is let me find another one. That's a pretty good sound. So I'm just going to download that one. And this is going to be our level up sound. So I'm going to rename this level up. Yeah, I was gonna, I'll just call it level up. And so now in our script, uh, or actually, we need to drag this somewhere. Um, let's say, we'll, we'll put this on our slider. Because that is our XP bar. Let's rename this to XP bar. So now we have an audio source with our level up sound on our XP bar. Uh, let's uncheck play on awake. And so now in our script, we need to find that function of leveling up. So where's that? Okay, right here. So if player XP is bigger than needed XP, then level up, basically. So what we want to do then is we need to reference the audio source that's on our XP bar. So let's go public 
audio source level up sound and then down here in our level up area we're going to do level up sound dot play two brackets and an end with a semicolon save that Now, if we click our game manager on the bottom here somewhere, we should have the level up sound audio source that we need to drag over, which will be on our XP bar. So we can just drag XP bar over here, and now we should be good. So if we level up now, we should hear the level up sound. Let's just check that out. So once we level up, we can hear the level up sound and the button sounds work, no problem. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any uh, any ideas on what you want to have into the game, just let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll try and include it in the next video. And uh, that's pretty much it. Leave a like if you enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time.